previous video, I asked a number of you for help in, in trying to find a solution for my valve cover seal leak on my 300 SDL. A number of you wrote comments, some were very helpful, and I actually took your advice and removed the valve cover to try to push the elbow out from the back side. But guess what? There's a baffle inside the valve cover and there's no way to get access. So that did not work. So after a number of different tries uh, using different techniques, I came up with a special tool that I could use to get it out of there and I was successfully able to remove the elbow without breaking the plastic pieces off into inside the valve cover. Now, you can see that I've got it fixed. I've used a number of different parts to make a, a, a practical solution. The part that you see here is the brand new part that you'll be able to get from Mercedes-Benz if you end up breaking off the elbow. The problem with this part is there are three or four different types and sometimes it's very difficult to get the right one for your specific model. So I'm still working on an elbow solution. I haven't found it yet, but I'm hoping to find a plastic or nylon elbow that can be used so we can avoid the factory part altogether. Now, guess what? They say when it rains, it pours. And just last week, my wife's 300D 2.5's elbow broke right off. So we're gonna have to fix that one too. And in a minute, we'll roll that car into the shop here and see if we can come up with a solution for that problem. You can see here that the elbow broke off right flush with the rubber grommet. And just like the other car, it's hard and brittle. I, I'm going to try to pry it, but you can see it's going to break if I put too much force on it. So I decided let's get creative and try to thread a bolt down in there. And I thought maybe I could get a hold of it with a pair of pliers. That's not coming out either. So I really don't want to have to remove the valve cover. You can see I have to re remove this intake elbow, take the valve cover off. I'm going to need a new gasket. So I'm going to attack this one and see if I can't come up with a solution to remove a broken elbow without dropping all the plastic pieces down inside the valve cover. Yep, this one's going to take some more work. I did figure out how to get the elbow out of the valve cover with it intact, but I'm going to have to do some more thinking here on how to get it out when it's broken off. But I think I'm getting closer to a kit that's going to solve this persistent oil leak problem on almost all 6OX engines. I hope the kit will include an elbow, a hose section, and note that's a very special piece of hose that can withstand the engine heat, along with a clamp and complete instructions. And those instructions are going to show you all the little tricks I've learned on how to get out an elbow, a hardened seal, and after I figure this one out, it's even going to show you how to get out a broken elbow. So I hope to have this kit released in late spring of 2011.